Hello everybody, Ben Pope here, welcome back to City Skylines. We are in Wolfgang Z and there's two things I want to talk about before we get into the time lapse. First is the intersection here at the end of the known world at the moment because we haven't continued this way. Um, it was getting really really busy with everybody, everybody coming off of the motorway and going towards the farms and the industry area. So I created these side, I want to call them wings. They're wings and they're on the diamond intersection. Um, right here, people can just take a right without going through the diamond if they are going that way. And same with people coming around from the other side. The rest will have to flow through the diamond. If it gets too busy uh, going the other way, we'll, we'll put two more wings on the other sides. But for now, I think it's fine. And uh, it's a fairly busy area here, but um, until we make more roads going across, that will have to be uh, good enough. This intersection here is also very, very busy. And I opted to change the road here to make it not just a tram road, but also a road with tram. And people can uh, go forward and use that as a loop to go uh, across instead of taking a left at the intersection. So, of course, that's not updated at the moment. I just did the changes and people are not following my rules yet. But the rules are set. And um, that's going to be sort of acting as a roundabout or as a loop. Um, which will hold up a little bit better. And later on we'll have to change it again because, of course, it doesn't hold up as much as I thought it would. Uh, which, such is life. Before we get into constructing the interchange, which is which is what this episode is all about, uh, we're gonna put a few parks here and just develop a few more bits and bobs of the land around this central train station. Uh, it needs park people generator pieces on these parks because I've used those parks before and they don't generate any people and I want that area to be busy. As well as I wanted this, these corners and the tram area to be really busy um, because it's sort of the central section, central part of the main street and right in front of our city hall and you know the main train station here. So I'm adding these benches all around uh, for them to have somewhere to sit in. I wanted to make sure that these road pieces are facing the right way as a one-way street. Um, so we don't have any confusion on how traffic should be flowing there. So once that is done, we're gonna go ahead and add add things to this square that's in here. Pretty much, it's gonna be a couple of roads, one main one, and then uh, alleys really for the mess for the rest of it. Um, I wanted that piece to be uh, non-zonable without the zoning on it because I, I feel like it, it just kind of ruins part of the zoning so it's better if that doesn't have a zone and then the rest here can do can do so so because this is kind of a mixed area we're gonna have all sorts of commercial and residential and um, oh here I'm changing the road to not have zoning so that looks better there in the corner um, the loop here seems to be working uh, it's not as trafficy as before which is nice uh, we have a, a school here right next to in right in the corner that's a high school so I want to add more parks and things for the high school students to come around and uh, enjoy So I put down a, um, sorry, I actually yawned while I was talking. <laughs> so I put down a um, decal, which looks like it's a, a basketball court, which people can come out and practice basketball there. We have all sorts of other sport things, but they're a bit too big for this area. Uh, but I am putting down another basketball court, which comes from the vanilla game. And uh, this will be sort of where you go and play a real game, a real match. And on the one uh, towards the right, 
which is simple without any uh, seats and things around it you can go there to practice this corner I wanted to extend from what um, I guess that is a fire department fire station has I wanted to extend from there and make like another sit down area I put in the paths just so people can walk through it and we're gonna put some small decorative decorative things we're gonna put some uh, benches uh, I believe I put down a bicycle shelter yeah that's it um, we're also gonna have a couple of swings and just pretty much a sit down area with some garbage bins and that's gonna be it I don't think I actually put down a park people generator piece there so we're gonna have to go back there and do that when I load the game up again um, in fact I was gonna load up the game again today uh, which is I'm recording this voiceover on Tuesday just to finish uh, some decorating pieces like like that and over the by the interchange that we're gonna build in a second after we put in all these trams but uh, the game has had an update the new expansion is out for natural disasters and so uh, a lot of the mods don't work they have to get updated so I'm um, gonna have to wait a couple days until that's all done so uh, a few tram lines are gonna start by the university and the, the football stadium there uh, this one's called Strobel University Rounds pretty much means that it's gonna come out of the university area there make a big round about, uh, around the town and then come back in excuse me I yawned again this is not good okay this tram line is gonna go all the way across by the beach to the farms and come back down the same road um, go through the loop there which is all custom and awesome and it's gonna connect back and that's simply people that want to get from the university to farms. They'll use the university to farms tram line. The next one is going to come out and uh, go across on the main streets all the way down to where main street ends in the roundabout by the motorway there and then come back all the way and connect to the park, which is a sort of tram stop uh, depot, if you will. Uh, looking at this again, it's just got really busy. I removed the uh, stoplights. I was like, you know what? No stoplights for you guys. You can roam around free. You can crash into each other like crazy. And it is madness over here. People are just like flying through the intersection. Um, so I'm doing something else. I decided to uh, change the way the lanes, uh, the lane restriction works after messing with the Man Master for a second. And we're going to make everybody that's not going straight on the main road. They're going to only take a right. So the side road here from left to right. They're not going to go straight and they're not going to take a left. And people on the main road are not going to take a left. They're just going to go straight or right. Uh, which will make it so nobody really crashes uh, going, you know, taking a left and crisscrossing. Uh, this section will still be used as a loop. And... Um, they can loop through there to make it across and they'll use the other roads to loop across from the other side if since they can't take a left they cannot take a left they'll have to go around down to the next street and um, do that that's a common thing you see in in cities and towns uh, restrictions on where you can turn so that's common now to the real meat and potatoes of the uh, episode if I will say something like that since uh, we had plenty of meat and potatoes last weekend, jeez, because it was Thanksgiving weekend here in the United States. So um, uh, tell me in the comments if you ate too much. I'm pretty sure if you are uh, from around the United States and you have had a Thanksgiving meal this weekend, you probably ate too much. Um, yeah, so finding inspiration on how other people have built interchanges and going with real life uh, ideas too uh, this is going to be a cloverleaf interchange 
and I'm removing one of the lanes from the inside from the actual uh, motorway or freeway there and making it the exit lane. So people coming up approaching on that right lane will be taking a right and exiting um, the motorway. Of course, uh, had to do quite a bit of adjusting of the land and using the move it tool and the node editor tool to uh, make these look like I want them to. Which is brilliant. I like using these. If you haven't yet gotten um, the move it tool, you totally should. It's it's a must at this point. If you're building stuff like this and you want to move the road a little bit um, without having to demolish it and put it back in all the time, yeah, get the move it tool. Look, look at what I'm doing with it. <laughs> um, when it's got the white circle instead of the yellow, that's the node editing tool, which I find it a bit more, um, it's a bit more, I don't know, it just feels a little better when just moving the road up and down. Uh, but the move it tool does everything anyway, so. Next, we're going to get into building the actual um, coils or U's or turns for the clover leaf, if you will. And um, it's going to be an interesting process because it's kind of a tight area, especially on this side. Um, because I wanted to use a lot of that for building. And we don't want to take too much space for the interchange. But with the move it tool, I was able to kind of adjust everything. You see, I'm, I'm adjusting a turn, for example, um, and then connecting up. It's going to be a nice interchange when it's done and it's gonna it's gonna have a very free flow for traffic because of how the lanes um, are made and the restrictions of where you can go pretty much nobody can take a left you're just either going straight or taking a right uh, which cuts back on all that cross traffic and um, not having cross traffic is is pretty pretty good for um, for keeping uh, keeping all the congestion away. So as you see, I'm I'm assigning lane changes. Here I put a piece of two lane highway because I can assign lane changes for people to uh, come in, and whoever's coming off of the freeway will have to be taking that exit if they're in that spot, and then uh, whoever's uh, going out will be going on the outside lane to go towards the actual freeway or motorway. And you can see that a little bit more on the other side too. We're going to do the same thing on the other side for that. Um, I think the only um, sort of challenge was this here where it's like a, just a tiny bit of a road before it enters uh, the, the freeway there, but I kind of left it. It's it's good enough there We're gonna now start working on the other side I'm not sure yet what's gonna be on this side probably more homes um, It doesn't have to be a downtown It can be uh, I can have some commercial I can have some uh, unique buildings or definitely have uh, some of you some unique buildings maybe even a uh, monument uh, lots of parks sort of a nice area to live in uh, because the downtown is pretty much where that central station was we're back at uh, connecting all of this together and this one was one where I used the move it tool the most I think because I wanted to just put the road down to kind of get it to where I wanted to go, um, the the ups and the downs angles didn't really come out the way I wanted to. But then using the move it tool, I was able to stretch out and curve those uh, jagged turns into something more, um, you know, more natural and more pleasing. So 
So really happy with with that with how that turned out. The same is gonna go for the other side. Um, actually, I found it easier to start at the top of the bridge and bring the loop down, and then connect it there. Uh, this is where that two lane section is gonna go in. Wanted to make sure it looks good, so I moved all the roads around again, all the lanes around again. Uh, there's a lot of uh, little jaggedy things that can pop up in the look of the highway or the road or the bridge when you connect uh, pieces to it. So you kind of have to go back all the time and adjust things. Um, it's an ongoing process. It probably took me about an hour and 20 minutes or so to make the whole uh, interchange look the way I want it to. And then I still didn't really finish it because I didn't put any of the trees and decorations and maybe some barriers that it manually put in, uh, you know, to make it make it look like it's all complete. Uh, there's also extra pieces of uh, paint you can put in the lanes. See here where it's connecting to um, the main road, which I actually had to change the spot it connects to here because I wanted to make this a bit longer. So we have a, a smoother transaction between uh, all the all the intersections on that exit entrance ramp. So you see as it comes in, you still have some space there to connect to the outside. But it went through really quickly <laughs> because I didn't slow down any of that. Um, we're going to go ahead and make all the lane restrictions so nobody takes a left as they're coming off the ramp or going uh, onto the ramp. And then we made uh, sure the lane restrictions are there for the on-ramps and off-ramps as well. Final touches. There's always final touches. I can probably go back five days from now and final touch something. Uh, there's a wolf running around. <laughs> there's um, adjustments to be made everywhere. Um, there's not much more to say to it. Oh, I am also changing the speed limit of all these on ramps and off ramps because it's pretty fast it's close to what the motorway speed is and cars just go way too fast through there so i figured i'll slow it down a little bit that's gonna be it for how the interchange was built um, i'm gonna come back next time and put in the trees and other decorative pieces um, and we're gonna continue to grow our beautiful city Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel and comment down below. All of those are important and they help me out a lot. I appreciate everything you do and hopefully we will see you soon enough. Have a good day. Bye-bye.